This is exactly where we left off. Um, the video. So, the, the video before was just getting too long. So, decided, hmm, let's just end that one, post it, get ready for the next one. Now, I noticed that while I was doing it, it's like this, or something like that. So, let me show you. Let me just do a little more. We'll keep it like a full screen. Um, now we can start playing. But because I just died on line two, we are not playing Flock One until in a little, little while. So, let's go on FNAF 2. Now, FNAF 2, fun fact. I've defeated all that. So, we're just gonna go here. both of these nights so if you want me to play the wizard knight just comment down below if you want me to play it um because i know i'm going to be playing these but if you want me to just play the wizard knight because you guys because you know how i'm going from one to whatever just comment down below if you do want me to play the wizard knight um yeah, but time for this. Night FNAF 2, night 1. Now, this, this, I have a trick. I can very trick. It's actually pretty easy. I can hold, like, 20 buttons. No, I can hold, like, 4 buttons. I can hold the buttons on the buttons. So I can press the button. Do it this around. And do this. Exact same thing. I can press the light. And then... So, uh, hello and welcome to the summer job uh, at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old locations, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while. To reassure you, Fazbear Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they even let them walk around during the day. Isn't that neat? <laughs> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Hey, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now that being said, no new system is without its kink. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Day shift. Uh, mainly, it's less concerned that certain characters seem to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the fire counter, and it's great. It can be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the fire counter video feed wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. <laughs> uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot thing you use an endoskeleton without its costume on, and wanting to stuff in the suit. So hey, we've given you any of these pretty fast bear heads. Problem solved. You can put it on any time, and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quartz modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the light, put on the spray head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.
to me, so it's not I like it. Um, I have to look for the TV. Um, so this is, yeah, um, this is gonna be fun. That happened. Fun. Five fact and Sonic's cannot can't tweet. Yeah, just because this is the actual thing no, well, not the actual thing when I say that. Only we're just making it so because it was made up by someone running right out okay. But okay. Um I'm sad I died. Um Um, we can play for number three now. My one. Alright, so the good thing about this is when I play in games, like, let's say I beat night four on this, I can go on dark mode and go on night four. I mean, night five. So, here, I mean, put plush shop might my baby and plush baby let's say i defeated plush baby but i didn't yet right now let's say i did it would open up the next one let's say for this because i already defeated it i can just skip i'm gonna skip chica and bonnie though because i don't like them um i'm gonna do freddy and then fuck because we already tried bonnie and chica so we're gonna do a freddy and foxy um and then this, let's, I say I, I already finished the Emerald, because I did, um, on the dark mode. If I finish Mangle on the dark mode, or the hard mode, um, then I will be able to do whatever. Next one. Fun and Freddy, I finish this, and move on to the next. So, but yeah. Let's start with three again. Why did I just press prize counter? I don't know, we could check out prize counter. Now I have plushies left. Is it just me or why do I have two of the exact same plush? Like these action figures, food. Actually, for me, see, bobbleheads. Halloween. Is it just me though? I feel like. Let's see what it comes out of here. Now I'm going to do that. That's so weird. Okay, so I can be. Oh, my Helene. I pressed prize counter, give me an eye. I have to stop pressing prize counter. Um, let's start with this. Okay, let's start. Mm -hmm. B, I have to press. Okay. 
I got this. So I kept pressing it by his counter. I try not to, but I kept pressing it. So I am sorry that I did. And you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air blowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Let's see. Okay. The weird thing for this is they found a room, but what I hate about the room is. Oh, and they let a murderer all around after. Sorry, I'm giving you hints, but, um, yeah. Um, so this is night one. Last time I played night one, nothing really happened. Except I had to leave. Um, but it helps me get into everything else. And what he means by him? Oh, it's. It's six already. Yeah. What? Oh, my God, you just want to get me to this. It's a robot. Let me press. I don't want me to let him press Y. Um. So, excuse me. Beat it. Oh my gosh. If you ever want to play, like, if you ever get this game, um, and you really just want to get new things for your, for everything, just keep playing that one. I mean, you won't get coins or I'll show you in a little bit of something, but I mean, it works. And let's start with night two. Let's hear what he's got to say about stuff. And then we'll bring it up because a real risk is fire. Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio tracks. 
training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear. It's Pizza. phone guy. Uh, will provide you with much-needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash injuries, slash death, slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we will discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For each one, so set to turn and walk towards the and why? It's an easy and hands-free approach making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd I got these two bubbles. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure that spring locks are fastened so the animatronic devices remain fixed. We'll cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Fudge, 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 John to sound. So if I make too much sound, it's it will come. Okay, so try not to make sound. That's gonna be hard when I get jump scared when I think about it. Um Okay, so this. Doctor is this Okay, plus trap was actually Okay, if I don't finish Plush Trap, I will at least try to beat one of these, just because. Yeah. And I'll show you. I did it. <laughs> okay, so you, that's easy. That's why I wanted to do it. This is a pig? They give me an actual cat? They give me an actual pig? I mean, wow. They give me an actual pig. That's nice. Sure, okay. He's hard finished. That's tough for you. Freddy actually to me seems pretty easy. 
Not Foxy, Foxy was horrible. I hated Foxy every second. I did it. So, let's see. But can I wait? Can I delete it? Let's Welcome see. back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Fred, good job. That was fun. I loved it. We can even do that because I pressed it to the We can even do that. <laughs> Welcome back to Parts and Service. Freddy's got good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. On my right. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wire. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the... Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. That concludes your time in parts oh, and service. Bad. Your pay will be docked accordingly. That was actually pretty fun. I got jump scared once, but that was because I did pretty good. You do Foxy now. Even though I hated Foxy every second. I did it. I don't care about it. We need to do Foxy for you guys' amusement. And then we will. Um, Jerry, sorry, and then. Yeah, this is the last thing we're gonna be doing because I don't like it. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full. Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, Wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Oh, do I hit it? I'm so hurt. I will show you something and then we'll be done. Um, so, awesome. I like this game because I've seen the end part where he, I do brings in, I don't know. But I like that he is in here and he's actually a really character in the game. No, he's not. He's literally a virus. He's a murderer. Um, okay. <laughs> murderer is my favorite person. 
Make sure there's no birds in this thing. So, so my favorite person has to be he was an F and he was my favorite. It has to be Circus Baby. What my favorite murderer? No, I'm still Vanny. <laughs> my favorite murderer? Mm, no, it's Vanny. Yeah, I'm sorry for really nasty. Um, lots of people do not like me. That's a really good thing. Sorry, I just they can hear that. Um, I'm just talking, but yeah. That's why you also like this. Um, so I have not finished for now. Finished this. Did the wither. Because I'd come. Well, if you guys saw that on the first one. Anyway, comment down below if you want me to do the wizard. Not for that fool. Not that fool. There's parts and surface. I did all the parts and surface. So if you want me to do a parts and surface in dark mode, you just tell me. And then say which one you want me to do. And again. So just comment down below. Um, if you want me to do mango, just tell me again. Dark, hard mode, mango, or... You can, if you want me to do Enerade or Mango in normal, in easy mode, tell me. Not that I can't really say it, but see. Let's see the um, okay, sorry that this moved. <laughs> um, now. These? Yeah, um, they won't want me to, they won't, I can't listen to take two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight, but yeah, goodbye.